the Delta variant of COVID-19, which is you know, largely behind the second wave, the variant that we're all so worried about, has now evolved into a Delta Plus or an AY1 variant. Now, it is characterized by the K417N mutation. What is this? Well, this is a mutation in the spike protein of the coronavirus that basically causes the COVID-19 disease. And this, this variation essentially allows it to enter the human cell. Now, scientists are saying that there's no real cause of concern just yet. But could this new Delta Plus variant have an immune escape tendency? And will it work against the monoclonal antibody treatment? Those are the two big questions that we're looking to answer. Dr. Sarman Singh, the director of All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Bhopal, also a senior virologist, joins us. We also have Dr. Sushila Kataria, director and head of internal medicine uh, at uh, Medanta Medicity. Thanks, doctors, for being with us. Dr. Singh, first to you. What more can you tell us about Delta Plus? Yeah, Riskaji, thank you very much. You know, this is uh, true that uh, the mutations uh, are very common phenomena, and particularly in RNA viruses. So the mutations are happening, you know, earlier there was, you know, B1617.3, uh, hmm. which got redundant and it is now disappeared from the circulation because it is not a beneficial to the virus pathogenicity. And uh, therefore now we have uh, 6.17.2 and 2.1 again. Yes. So these are the, you know, uh, beta and uh, even the gamma, uh, which is new names uh, which are given some of the you know they they have this variant has about five mutations and the most important mutations they are also found not only in this that's why it is called in gamma as well as in uh, uh, beta also and therefore it is known as plus and uh, the new new name probably maybe in coming weeks or so might be given to this variant hmm. but as of now this is only given the plus so it has, you know, some of the mutations which are very, very crucial okay. to immune escape. That is the, you know, concern. But the good thing is that, you know, so far the even the this uh, Delta Plus and even the Gamma, which is reported from Pune Laboratory, these are very few numbers. But I, another program in your channel, only a few days back, I was saying that we cannot be complacent that, you know, we are having only right. few cases. You right. never know that from 2 to 20 and 20 to 2000 when it will become because these are highly, highly virulent, virulent and infectious yes. strains of the virus. Yes. Uh, Dr. Sushila Kataria, very specifically a concern regarding the Delta Plus is uh, whether the monoclonal antibody treatment touted to be a game changer in India, will it work against the Delta Plus? These are questions that are already being raised. What more do we know about it? So, as we know that there is a new mutation acquired by the Delta variant, so which is called a Delta Plus variant. Whether this variant will become a variant of concern, that will depend upon the time. So, if it becomes a variant of concern, that means it becomes more infectious or becomes more severe in course, then we need to be concerned about this. Whether monoclonal antibodies will be totally redundant, I don't think so. But if it is less effective, then monoclonal antibodies are made in the lab by DNA recombinant technology. And it is very easy to add one more component to this mixture of uh, monoclonal antibodies. At this stage, we should not be worried. But yes, we should correlate, do more and more molecular sequence. And we should correlate these sequences with the clinical data of the patient. Meaning right. thereby, all those who had this kind of infection, were they more severe? Was it more spreading into their community? So these are the things we need to answer with time. About monoclonal antibodies being redundant, we should not worry. I don't think that would be. And if so, there is a solution to that. Right. Uh, Dr. Singh, if I can come back to you at the moment, what lessons have we learned from the Delta variant uh, that we can now apply to the Delta Plus? You know, we learned late in the day, perhaps, that the Delta variant was more transmissible than the Alpha variant. Uh, you know, it's largely caused this the second surge of COVID-19 in India. What lessons have we learned that we can now apply to Delta Plus? Rishikaji, unfortunately, we are not learning lessons. That is, you know, bitter truth. Uh, because, you know, we need to, you know, uh, do the lot of sequencing on daily basis, animal studies. So I think the research component is quite weak in India. And that is probably we need to strengthen our research. And, you know, on 
uh, we know that you know in december itself it was a quite prevalent uh, the uh, delta virus hmm. and you know february it reached to the you know we did some sequencing and we found that you know interiors of the mother place it reached in february first week are we doing enough are we doing enough genome sequencing dr singh to understand more about the delta plus yeah we need to do more okay. we are doing but it is very less number so we need to do huge number of the samples okay. and definitely that will you know direct our you know prevalence and you so, know surveys repeated surveys are very very important okay so more you data know. is needed more surveillance is needed the delta plus as we know is here but more needs to be studied about it thank you very much for joining us on this extremely important conversation new cause of concern